Christianity, Judaism and Islam, as you've mentioned, are all called religions of the book, referring to the tradition of Judaism and the Hebrew scriptures. How familiar was the prophet in his context with the, the Jewish tradition and, and the Christian ambience which surrounded much of that? And what essentials was he able to draw on? Well, the Jewish and Christian traditions are inherently intertwined in the revelations that Muhammad was receiving. And I often say to audiences, whether they're Christian, Muslim, or whatever they happen to be, that you know Islam is a continuation of previous revelation. So it doesn't discredit uh, the the Old Testament. Um, obviously, there are elements of the New Testament which be which become uh, a little controversial. But what I like to point to is Abraham. Uh, Abraham is the one of the common links between these three faith uh, traditions, but there's also many more. You know, at, there's Adam, there's Noah, uh, there's Enoch. Um, Christianity and Islam have a special place for Jesus and and Mary. Of course, John, I'm sure you're familiar. Mary is the only woman in the Holy Quran that has an entire chapter. Uh, dedicated to her. And Jesus is spoken in extremely lofty terms um, in the Quran. But of course, the Islamic appreciation for the monotheistic tradition, it precedes Christianity and it goes, it goes all the way back. And there's other fundamental principles too, you know, the, the, the day of judgment, the idea of doing good deeds of being merciful, of believing in monotheism, believing in one creator, um, believing in issues pertaining to heaven and hell, the afterlife. I mean, all of these things are, they're uniform across the board when we look at Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. There might be slight variations between the two, but why look at the variations? Why not just look at those common core principles that can unite us and then have conversations about, well, why is your position different? Where do you stand on this? What can that teach us potentially about the nature of God? That's Those are the, the type of conversations that we need to be having. The last part of your book, you titled The Golden Rule, and uh, you're picking up on a, a very interesting phrase that most of us are familiar with, that becomes a hook for a whole series of conversations. I mean, Jesus propounded it in the Sermon on the Mount when he said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The prophet Muhammad in his last sermon admonished believers to hurt no one so that no one may hurt you. Confucius in the Analects, never impose on others what you would not choose for yourself. And the great German philosopher Kant refined it to something similar called the categorical imperative. Act only according to that maxim whereby you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law. Or more simply, in children's tales, do as you would be done by. Now, what is it about this common theme? Have the authors simply borrowed from each other or have they reached similar insights separately and what might this signify? John, I think it really shouldn't be overcomplicated. It really boils down to being a good person. And let me unpack this a little bit. Um, being someone that is keen to smile, to be hospitable, to reach out a helping hand, to be compassionate, to be merciful, to defend people. These are not unique to any faith tradition or to any religion. It trans These things transcend religion. They transcend faith. It's about the human experience and what God has blessed us with, with this kind of, it's not just intuition, but the ability to love is, is, is so powerful and we're all capable of doing it. And certainly major religious traditions uh, teach it. You know, at the end of the day, these major religious traditions are trying to contribute to, to happiness, to peace, to making people feel whole. But I don't think you need religion to do these things either. It's about 
having a respect for human dignity. It's about that feeling that we get when we know we're being loved, giving that feeling to other people and hoping that it kind of connects and dissipates to other elements of society. Thank you.